everyone. Today's construction day 152. All right. So uh, yesterday we did that video on uh, my 13A visa. Um, definitely uh, was a process. And uh, if you guys haven't watched that video, uh, you know, take a look. Um, got a, a lot of nice comments from you guys. Uh, some of you have already gone through the process and some of you are looking to go through the process that uh, you're still in your home uh, country. So we had some uh, good back and forth on that. So that's exactly why uh, we did that video, uh, you know, just to hopefully help, you know, a couple viewers out. Yeah, that is correct. And uh, I'm so happy that we uh, finally got to do it. I know we have been very busy with the house. Right. And I have been uh, nagging you about it to get it going. You know, don't do the, everything the last minute, especially when it comes to visa. Yeah, she was, she's been on me for a while to get the process started. I keep saying, ah, don't worry about it. Uh, my ballot buy on visa is good to, to February. Uh, but uh, when we were once again late on our... Uh, scooter registration. <laughs> uh, we were overdue a few more weeks for the second time. Uh, you know, I decided let's go down and uh, knock it out. And uh, we just did the uh, registration for our vehicle on Wednesday, I believe, of this week. And yesterday, Friday, uh, we got a text message saying, uh, your registration's in. So it just took them two days yes. uh, to go to the LTO. Yeah, I was surprised because they originally told us uh, we'll be ready uh, seven business days. Seven business days, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we uh, stopped by and picked it up last night. So it just took them two days to get our registration. Uh, so we're very happy about that. And that includes uh, one year of insurance, too. Mm -hmm. uh, so well worth having a service uh, do that uh, for you. So up here at uh, the work site, uh, Contractor was up here again this morning. We spent about 45 minutes walking around looking at the project. Uh, so here's some updates. Uh, next week, we're going to start working on the drainage, that concrete drainage uh, that's behind the wall um, in the dirty kitchen. Um, as you guys know, uh, that's a pretty unique design where the roof of our dirty kitchen, which is at the back of the house, goes over that wall, uh, still on our property. So for new viewers, we built that back wall fence a full two feet from the property line so we could have a two foot uh, concrete drain back there to carry the water away from the house. So uh, the contractor and I walked back there, we got our game plan together, or his game plan together. And uh, we're going to start that. So he's going to get some uh, supplies up here. And I believe uh, someday next week we will go ahead and, and start that. So uh, very happy about that. Uh, it looks like the panels got completed. So the last panels are built for our fence. So now they're going to be uh, working on those columns. So I'll show you that. Uh, some more ceiling work. So there's, there's definitely uh, things moving in the right direction. I see that there was more tile for the pool brought up uh, and talking to the uh, contractor he said probably two weeks because the crew, uh, he has a four man crew that does uh, tiling of pools. Uh, they're finishing up a pool here in the area and they're about two weeks away. Uh, so when they get that pool done they'll come up and start ours. So we're happy about that. We didn't want to have to take uh, our small crew here and put them on the pool and slow up uh, the house build. Uh, so we'll have a, a, a new crew of four up here uh, so you guys get a chance to meet them and uh, we'll get this uh, pool going. So uh, very happy about that. And I think they said it'd be about three or four weeks uh, to complete it, uh, which kind of puts us right where the house will be complete or near complete. So that's, that's good news that everything is uh, coming together. So uh, we'll get you guys some uh, updates and uh, end of a work week, so we're happy about that. We're Yay. looking forward uh, to tomorrow, right? Day off. <laughs> uh, day off. That's shopping day, yes. uh, laundry day, uh, wash the truck day. Uh, it's still a busy day for us, but uh, definitely uh, looking forward to it. As you know, we had three panels uh, left to uh, erect. So that, that's completed this week. Um, and you can see we kept with the theme of the two step down so now they're working on coming across this way so the Mahone 
is out here 1.5 meters from where the fence will turn so we kept that same distance as we did here so probably can't see it but just in front of that large rock is a Mahone so the property line is out here and we did that as an offset 1.5 meters uh, so we can have some uh, curb appeal so we can uh, you know plant some grass have flowers here in between the rocks you know dress this all up um, so we did the same thing here where it comes out 1.5 meters so now the guys have the panels completed uh, so now they're going to turn and do another large column here which will match this so see how it's uh, six strands because the typical uh, column for a fence is four strands so uh, the corner where the gate will be attached is six uh, so there'll be another larger column here um, in between this and I believe it's 1.2 meters um, we'll have a man door uh, so if we do want to exit the property and just go for a walk uh, we don't have to open the uh, the main gate so there'll be a man door here and it'll probably about 80 or 90 centimeters uh, wide approximately we'll figure that out and then from this larger column to this column will be uh, four meters so making uh, progress on uh, wrapping up the fence so here in the front of the property we still have one two three four five columns uh, left to pour uh, so it looks like they uh, boxed up and poured two more today uh, so that's good and then they have three more uh, that needs to be formed up and uh, and poured so uh, making progress there and then uh, once that gets done, uh, they'll be ready to, uh, to render uh, both sides. So Jernell's uh, progress, um, we decided to work uh, the driveway. So if you guys remember, this was just littered with large rocks. Uh, and it was one really large rock right in the middle of where, you know, we'll eventually be coming up and turning. Uh, to get to the uh, gate area uh, So we started digging out it was about five or six rocks that was exposed And uh, if you guys remember all the deliveries that we were getting right here is where the guys got hung up because they would be hitting these large rocks So Janelle took the last couple of days and he dug them all out and I told him this one large one I don't think you're gonna be able to get out But he dug around it and he started working on it and he got it to split uh, and then he, he was able to move one side down and then he got that whole rock out. So now uh, they're all gone. All the rocks uh, that was in this area is all pulled out and then he smoothed it over. So now it's in much better uh, condition. So now that he's got this area looking good um, and we're still going to have to remove all these. But they look pretty small. But now he's starting to work on getting the proper uh, pitch for the driveway and always concerned when you put this black dirt here so we got to talk through that I may get a, a load of stone here next week and just put some stone here to start packing it but you guys will remember that we got out to the pool to the edge of the pool on this side uh, to the correct grade all done by level with uh, the proper uh, pitch which was uh, four inches. Uh, but just by eye, this over here was much higher than a driveway, probably about six inches higher than a driveway. Because I showed you many times where the driveway came out and it really started to dip here. And I said we wanted to take that dip out. We want it to be a more straight incline. So this needed to be built up. And by eye, it looked like maybe, I don't know, six, eight inches we had to build it up. Maybe more. Uh, so we're going to today work on some uh, string lines. But I just told them by eye, uh, start taking this down. And I told them six inches. And just start moving uh, all this uh, stone and dirt this way. And you can just see by eye, 
that it's starting to take shape because again any rain that comes down this way we want it to always head to the fence that's our goal is to always head to the fence um, so we're working on this today and I'm probably going to get uh, some larger stone uh, to uh, pack in with this dirt uh, and I'll, I'll work on that uh, next week there she is she never stops sweeping I keep telling her don't breathe in the dust you should be wearing a mask <laughs> but Filipinas are stubborn so what are you doing sweeping your floor oh, okay how does it look it look all right all right there's a lot of debris there though I see a lot of remnants yeah yeah what we did guys was uh we had a, a a pretty large tarp that we brought from Leyte when we moved here that we covered all our belongings and our pickup trucks right there and that's i don't know it's got to be uh 12 feet by 16 feet tarp so what we told the guys is uh you know when they start doing the uh ceiling with their scaffolding just lay the tarp out uh, that 12 foot by 16 feet and then put their scaffolding on top and that'll catch uh, a lot of the debris from uh, doing their epoxy uh, and their uh, skim coat um, and the guys were very happy when i brought that tarp up they're like oh that this is great so they've been using it uh, religiously so they started using it here and uh before they started the skim coat and uh, they're being careful uh, but there's still always going to be uh, some spillage of course when they paint as well uh, but you can see they have that all skim coated and smoothed out. So that's, uh, I believe, ready uh, for paint um, at some point. Now, of course, they got to get the whole ceiling done before they start painting. Uh, but it really did uh, protect the floor uh, from, uh, from that skim coat. So in about 30 minutes, you're going to sweep it again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, end. No end, right? All right. You can see, uh, let me see if I'll zoom in. You can see Ramel. So what he's doing today is he's grouting one of the spare bedrooms. And since that's a gray tile, um, it's a gray grout. So I'll, uh, I'll pop up there and I'll show you what he's doing. All right, so here's uh, Ramel. So what he's doing is uh, he's grouting here today. So it's a gray grout because it's a gray tile. And uh, he's mixing up the paste. This is the type of tile grout that we bought for the whole house. Uh, ABC tile grout, uh, different colors of course, but that's the brand. And he's just going through and you can see he's using a, a rivet and he's cleaning the joints uh, because uh, everyone's walked on this so much. There's debris down in there. So unfortunately, you know, that's an extra step. So see all the debris that he's pulling out? Uh, so that's unfortunate, but uh, it's, it's just the way it is. And then he's just cleaning it, and then he's filling in uh, the joints, and then he goes through and starts wiping it down. So uh, getting one bedroom uh, grouted today. So also here in the uh, spare bedroom, looks like they have most of the ceiling up just along the firewall so i got to find out uh when that rubberized paint is going to be actually applied i'm going to have to ask the contractor about that um, but they have most of the ceiling up and then uh the epoxy uh they put that fiberglass uh tape on all the joints and then they uh spackle it all in sand it all down all the rivets uh, get the same coating on it and they sand it and then uh, they do a complete skim coat and that's why it's uh, white uh, still needs to be painted uh, but they uh, have one bedroom uh, almost complete Robert and uh, Dino now moved on from the bedroom to the spare bathroom and here actually they can complete this because there's no firewall up there uh, so I was just talking to the guys. They said, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get this completed today. So actually this bathroom uh, will be completed. So you can see that all the rivets that go up into uh, this uh, metal furring uh, all gets uh, coated, be covered, and then sanded. Looks like they're putting a, a second layer because they're skim coating everything. Uh, but, yeah, you can see the joints. 
don't know if you can see that over there, uh, but there's a, a wire or a mesh to cover the joints, like a tape. Uh, fiberglass, I believe. I, I couldn't think of the word. Uh, fi a fiberglass uh, tape that they put over top of the joints and then they smooth it all out. So this is the uh, progress in the spare bathroom. I had a, a pretty funny comment from a viewer uh, saying, uh, hey Greg, that's the exact backsplash I have in my house. And then he said it's the only thing in the house that he likes. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty funny comment. Uh, so one of our viewers has that exact same backsplash. Looks like they uh, brought up some more uh, pool tile. So I uh, can't wait uh, to start uh, tiling the uh, pool. So I'm getting ready to show you uh, the next mini project. And, uh, but take a look at the family. She's sleeping, uh, sitting up. Pino is uh, sound asleep here in the dirt. Wilma's got our, uh, her pick there, working away. And take a look at uh, Pino. I'm sorry, Philip. He's uh, tired too, just eight. So just hanging out with us. So uh, just a mini project uh, that we're working on because uh, Jernell caught up to the guys. Uh, so now uh, the two guys, they're gonna be working on rendering uh, the fence and then uh, they're gonna take down the old uh, gazebo there. So they're, as they're working on that, and that's going to be more than likely what they do on Monday, then uh, Janelle will follow them. But he's caught up to them. So we're going to do a mini project here. So now that we got this to the right level, uh, that same uh, four-inch drop, we went ahead and snapped another line. Uh, you can see how windy it is up here right now. It's a nice, cool day. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build a little rock wall because there is a transition here from the truck turnaround uh, to the finished grade here. Uh, always looking to slope the water. So we just uh, pulled it out um, a couple of feet and we have a level line right there. And uh, we're going to need seven rocks. So there's your number. Uh, seven rocks that look just like this and it's going to be level coming all the way across here and seven's going to get us right about here and we're burying those rocks just one level and what that's going to do is create a, a, a mini wall and then we're going to pull out some of this dirt uh, probably the way I explained it to you now uh, down to this level here so that's you know four or five inches down so four or five inches of this dirt will come out and then we'll uh, put the uh, concrete sacks uh, down with a bunch of holes in it. And we're just going to go ahead and create a little slope here. That'll end, I told him, a few inches below this rock wall. So we don't want it up above where the rocks will eventually, you know, make its way across. Just, just a few inches below. And just dress this up a little bit. Uh, because when we pull this out... Um, it did make it, you know, a slope. So we were thinking about uh, making another wall like this, a hollow block wall here. But I'm against that just because, uh, just in case if I pull around with the truck and, and get off target, I don't want to go over a wall like that. I'd rather it be a gentle slope of rock that's held back by these larger rocks that's going to be buried in the dirt. So these are going to be buried down in, and then we'll just uh, taper, slope these larger rocks down to it. So uh, that's our mini project for uh, Saturday after lunch. Okay, so uh, this was our Saturday afternoon project. We got our rocks in place. We buried them uh, about 30% in. Uh, Janelle put some water around it as I was backfilling. Uh, to get them all in place and we were uh, tamping the dirt on both sides. Uh, we put the uh, sacks down and then filled in with water and we just uh, sprayed all the rocks to clean them up a little bit. That's why they're a little darker here. 
uh, but that's what we're looking for just a soft slope down and then now we'll have to get all this dirt and all these rocks out of here on uh, Monday so it's 4 p.m. so it's quitting time so uh, that was our Saturday afternoon project